I mean, things like Scarface, it, it kind of it, it, it relies more on the fact that he's this badass mm. with the guns than his general mm. acting skills, which are far better mm. than what that film allows you to see. It's boring, random. So I, I want to see De Niro's and, 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 and them kind of people, you know what I mean? You know what I think? Al Pacino, sorry. Although De Niro's are still good, but the, because no, they've moved they're... into the comedy side of it, sometimes it, Hard to see that. I like to be like Goodfellas and stuff from Bronx Tale. Mm -hmm. mm. Bronx. You know what I'm thinking from Bronx Tale? Yeah, yeah you, see, you, mafia boss. you see when you've got that kind of sass in a film? It's cool. I want the sass. Yeah, definitely. I want these characters to be street and sass. I like when the man looks at his gun, it's like. Mm. That's the shit, mm. man. You know, I've got to believe this shit. People are going to have to believe you really are this guy. Yeah, you really have fell into this position. <laughs> And you are really struggling to get the lights. Tony Montana, boys. So, um, shall we move back to where we were? Scene six. It's okay. Let's go this way. <laughs> Do you know? So, like, I can't tell him, man. She fucking dies, man. So, it, it becomes a very, you know, at certain points she will talk a certain way. If I was on the internet and someone asked me a question, I'd be like, they're talking, but not quite talking. Mm. I was yeah, people talk, because I'm concentrating on going through the internet like that. Um, hits the print. Fuck food! Mike gets on his bike to meet the fern, so Mike goes to rescue Jules. Mike travels along black alleyways and darkened streets. I think this is going to be cool because no one's done a bike ride in a zombie film. I mean, who the fuck would? You'd want a tank or a car yeah, or something. Yeah, I mean, some sort of protection. The fact that he's on a bike, mm. I want it to feel scary. I want every alley to feel like it. the alley is coming out, mm. even if it's empty. You're just like, Looking, looking, looking. That's what we got because you've got multiple angles in it. You know, you've got ways to be filmed from the front and back. Yeah. You can do that up shot because I'm not there. But I, I think even just the motion, uh, just a passing blow shot blow of, a, of a shady dark street is enough to say, yo, that looks fucking scary. Mm -hmm. doesn't have to be anything there. Don't even have to see you riding, but just going past. Dirty, scruffy alley. Where there's loads of dark areas where your eyes can't see and penetrate. That's, that's scary. You do. A decent job though. If you did, you know, if you did, um, if you had, so if you had, you don't have to be rewrite, it could be anyone riding, but if you had like a shot of, you know, like, a wheel going round, you're like in a dark alley. Yeah, and, and, and obviously you know there's I mean? motion, but there's nothing around. Yeah, yeah, you know. That, and then you've got to think sound effects as well, the, yeah. the, the little bit of sound. So it's and got that little sound, it's all through an alley. Yeah, 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 yeah as if it's pedaling in an alley. Metal and nail, scratching nail, all that kind of screechy yeah. noise is going on. Yeah. Going on. Let's talk to Go well. on, man. Go There's going to be people that get that, but it's going to be second yeah. film. Ben's character actually. Hold on. Ben's character actually develops a lot of weaponry. He becomes like the um, the technical man. You know that guy who makes all the gadgets in the X Men yeah. Forge. Oh, okay. X Men. X Men. You know X Men. Mm. You know X Men. Yeah. Forge. Right? Oh, Metal leg. Ooh, and, he, and he just makes anything out of anything. He's the techni technical guy, and he made himself a leg, and he made himself an arm when he lost it. Yeah, yeah. Ben becomes that character and actually replaces yeah, certain limbs on some of the characters, yeah, so that they can actually keep up with yeah. the characters like Mike and Jules yeah. and that, who are imbued with different abilities based on the stone. Actually, there was a and you see that the, the, the closeness to the stone, the, the almost stone. The closer you are to it, and the longer you are around it, the more power you get. Okay. But it's not something you can turn on and off. Okay. It's something that comes only when it's needed. Only when you're trying your hardest. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like Superman, let's go. Because yeah, yeah. it's not going to work. Oh shit. Yeah. You know, it's when Superman panics, that's when it works for him. In the beginning, in the first film, we do get control of it eventually. But in the beginning, it's very much, uh, you know, with great power, you know, just make sure you just point that finger in the right direction. <laughs> So there's a scene where Mike actually has to push a whole truck out of the ditch, which obviously is impossible. It's caught, it's, there's mud, and there's all these phobians running over the hillside to kill us. Yeah, so panic. And he's just pushing and pushing, and he's slipping and dirt, and he's falling, and eventually he just gets one well fucking push. And it's all the old man's, but it's enough to push it. Then you, you have to run then, because the truck's going, 
but they're like, come run, we can't stop, because if we stop we'll get stuck again. So you're running through the mud, you suddenly get a burst on you, it's like, Zoop! how the fuck? Well, we don't even stop to ask how the fuck, because, you know, you're just there, it's like, you know, you don't perceive it the way we perceived it. You perceive it as time slowing down, we perceive it as you going, disappearing and being next to us in a second, in a blink of an eye. Like a flash. Your two main abilities end up being control and manipulation of fire and speed. Who would touch me? Yeah, yeah man. Real. They'll break the things. Shut for real though. Where did you see it? Take a shot out. Yeah, I think you better put the weapons down now, man, because I think it's getting too buffs up. I don't want them. Bro, for real though. Stop, fool! Watch yourself! Give me that cheeseburger, homie! Give it back yourself, nigga! Take those Nike sneakers off too, cuz! Shit, nigga! Right, so, <laughs> <my> <laughs> is, yeah. All right, we'll wrap up in a bit, but I just want to get through this last bit, yeah? Okay, Max in the dark streets. Uh, <laughs> this is all stuff where you're actually going to rescue me, yeah? Uh, schools is surrounded by tall fence. <laughs> Uh, which stops the zombies getting inside, but it's also stopping you from getting in, and you have to get past these zombies. Outside, there's several military trucks in sight. They're left abandoned with dead bodies all around them. It looks as if an earlier rescue attempt has failed. Um, Mike analyzes the situation and decides to use a nearby tree to climb above the zombies and run along the top of, top of the truck, completely bypassing the mob. So imagine there's a tree there, long, long branches, and you can see it's just close enough, maybe you can get onto the truck. It's your only chance anyway, so you climb up the tree, yeah? They haven't noticed you at this stage. No, I don't think we'll take it. As you're climbing along the tree, um, the tree branch breaks, plunging Mike into the, nearly into the zombie crowd. So it snaps enough that you fall up, whoa, grab it, mm. and your feet are nearly, nearly able to be got by them. So you're scrambling up your feet to get away. They're just touching it with the fingertips, yeah? you manage to get up, but the branch is creaking and trying to break as well, so you've got to get there. you manage to just reach your foot and get on and you're on it. Yeah, between the branch and your foot, you somehow manage to get on it and push yourself on. Alright? So now they're all trying to climb onto the top. Yeah? Mm. Obviously it's quite a tall truck, so oh, you've seen these hands and things, but some of them are trying to even climb on the backs of others, so you know, you can't stick around. And it's quite a big leap now because you've got to jump the cabin front plus there's a fence which is roughly equal to the height of the top of the truck. So mm. you've got one chance on a running jump to get it. Mm. And maybe you're not the kind of guy that thinks about what's going to happen when you've jumped over the fence or what could be on the other side of the fence. But it's like one of them realisation as you jump in. Yeah, oh shit. You know, so you have to kind of like rough and tumble and you, you manage to get into a roll. Well, I call a Dempsey Mate Feast roll. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah, about? A Dempsey Mate Feast roll. Yeah. Unnecessarily. As it started, the program. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, anyway, you jump over the fence and you run along the field into the wide entrance. So, this is where you burst in now. You, you've had enough shit, you know, you like, you got there, you got that fucking far, you better be here, kind of thing. So you walk along dark and corridors, kind of like, you know, you've got a mission on, you're feeling kind of confident that you're the only one in there, but you, you know, you're still a bit wary. Mm. So you're shouting for me, and you're getting no response, so imagine you'd be like, at the top of your voice, Jules! Jules! You know? Mm. So you're really shouting for me. Obviously the voice is echoing, this is going to be a great shot. It's dark school, corridors, really creepy. Mm. Just coming back at you. Jules! You wonder if you're even in the right school. Yeah. So you have to express this with facial. Mm. It's not. I don't want too much dialogue when you talk mm. to yourself. I want you to express it and leave a certain gap in people's minds that they can think what they like, what you're thinking. But this is the motivation for it. You know, you're actually wondering. It's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 jazz into keys. <laughs> the real, though. Vicious. Right. 
Shout out energy on to me. Mm. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you need to go ahead. The guns are the guns, man. So you yeah. think you're not gonna earn? You say that gonna have a hand? Yeah, so you won't do it again. If you're at the right school, as the map is printed, so you kind of that's a good way of doing it. You pull out the map and you look. Yeah? Because you printed a map, you just get it out of your back pocket, you pull it, you have a look, and you're like, so there you are. You try to get into several rooms, you walk them along, just trying every door. And eventually, you get one open, it's a science room. As you're moving into the room, you're like, shit, you see a skeleton. Now, the natural thing is to think that that's a zombie straight away. But the way it pans in, it's fast, it's like, da 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 da! The music's going to be scarier than my voice, by the way. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's going to be like... Mm -hmm. So you come up against the skeleton, and you literally go through the door, it's like, boom! So it's like, people are always expecting these films. Every door, every dark turn, everything is a shock, and there's going to be a lot of that where it doesn't happen, a lot of it where it does happen, straight after the point. So anyway, it's a, it's a skeleton. So you react, and again, it could be a comedy moment. Play it serious. I don't want you to play it jokey. Because it says it's comedy. I want you to play it serious. And the comedy will come because people themselves yeah, work right. it out. Yeah. Yeah. They'll That's laugh and say, why is this shit scared? Yeah. But they'll also laugh from nervousness because some of them will be scared. Yeah. So when they realise, they go, oh, yeah. well, aren't we all dicks? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's just a skeleton. Yeah. yeah? So Mike manages, as you go in this room, you've been sh scared a bit. Or oh, a lot. Mm. And then you're going through the room, you find some chemicals and shit, including some acid. So you're looking, you're just looking at shit and it'll just pan. And obviously there's nothing in there for you, so you lose the science room. It cuts to the scene outside where the zombie man has now managed to open the gate. And it's coming inside the school ground, so somehow from fumbling and whatever. Because you didn't have time to check. You just assumed it was locked, but it wasn't properly locked. So they get through. So now it cuts to me, I'm pacing up and down, waiting for you to arrive. And it's just pure suspense. Just me walking backwards and forwards, yeah, at the time, not saying nothing, you know. Because people, I want people to feel that this shit's going on outside. Yeah, so even if it's 30 seconds, which is quite long screen time, I almost want it with a silence that leads up to it. Right, it's like... Bam, 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 bam! But longer. So it's a real long dramatic pause, almost like the clocks have slowed down and time is, is dragging. Mm. Yeah, and the sound is kept to a minimum, almost like just wind. Nice. And then you come bang, 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 so that's another scare, you banging on the door. Because people might assume that's zombies or whatever. And I might, you bang on the door, you, you scare me. So imagine you go, bang, bang, bang. You, you shout Jules then, I think, to oh, no, no. to set it right with the people. We know who it is, although we're not seeing you. We're with the Jules cards inside the room. So you scared me. Bang, 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 bang. And you Jules! Yeah, like that. Mike, Mike, is that you? Oh, fuck. Right? Kind of cut to a bone chilling moan as is heard as Jules has attracted the attention of the zombies outside his location. Unknown to Jules, there is a rear entrance that is unblocked. Whereas the sailors had entered in earlier uh, when they put jewels in there. It's only blocked by a bin, which is slowly moving after its break. So because we, he's gone bang, 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 and I've gone jewels and all the rest of the shit, there was one just happened to be like, and now he's on it, the rest are on it. And they're trapped. Obviously, I couldn't get out because the bin had a, it's locked partially on. But them fucking around with the bin now is loosening the lock on the bin. Boom. That comes loose at the same time as we're getting out. So, it's slowly moving off its break, we can see this, so people are now aware there's just a door between me and them, and I can't get out, and Mike can't get in. So the zombie mob uh, swaps closer, this leaves the door dangerously unguarded. Jules hears some noises as the doors are opened in the corridors. Believing it to be his unknown sound, she prepares, to attack, prepares himself to attack her and comes through the door. Oh, right, no, this is a bit more elaboration on, on the... This is another way of looking at that sort of... That's it, so, 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 yeah. It's not hard. 
Then, as soon as Jules realises that Mike has found him, and unable to open the door, Mike realises his best chance lies in the super strong acid he saw earlier. So it's, it's a quite a strong lock, you know, mm-hmm. quite a new lock, and the door's quite firm. But he just thinks, well, if I just, so it's just a case of wait here, he runs, he's gone again. So this could be again dramaticness, could be a few cuts to the zombies and things like that. I just see Mike run into the room and run back out, but you don't know what he's got. Then when he gets there, it's like, da 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 the acid, he takes the bottle off the acid, you see it's acid, throws it. So, here because of Mike, wait here, runs. Like, where do you want me to go? <laughs> you know, that's my response. So, obviously, I'm a bit of a smart ass as well, even though I'm in that situation. So, he just tells me to wait there anyway, he goes. Um, <coughs> Mike, Jules urges Mike to hurry it as the zombies have now discovered the rear entrance is unlocked and are trying to get in. Mike quickly gets the acid and carefully speed walks with it to the gym. I don't know if that I should run. Mm. But, you know, it would run seem like you're you walking with something that could, if you run with it, yeah. you could splash it all over it. Trip over whatever. Yeah, so there's, there's an element of haste but, you know, being a bit careful to oh, spill. Sure. Which is all his character, you know what I mean? That's what he's like. He's, he's not just going to like flip it and lose it. He's still going to have a bit of common sense. <coughs> so I've said, wait here, and then, like, where do you want me to go? And then we've said, Jules urges Mike to hurry as the zombies have discovered the rear entrance and are trying to get in. Mike quickly gets the acid and carefully speed walks with it to the gym. So now you're like going to throw the acid, so you're like, all right, stand back! Mike throws the acid at the lock of the door, immediately begins to burn the lock. Jules urges Mike to speed up in the jail break by prompting Mike to hit the door with something. However, this causes the zombies to break down the rear door. So this is... Uh, some dialogue I've written, absolute, some are based it upon how I might perceive the character reacting at that time. So it's open for a bit of debate. So it's like, as it's... Come on, hurry up! And you're like, I'm trying, man, I'm trying! But you're not going fast enough! Break it! Break, we what? Get something, I don't know, the fire extinguisher or something. So you're like, bang, bang, you know? As you're banging, the zombie's like, Rrr. hurry up with you. I think someone's trying to get in. They're really ripping up at the door. Right? And you're like, I'm trying, kick it in. And you're like, I can't, it opens the other way from your side. Well, why didn't you say so? Bang! I run through it, because enough of the lock is burnt. It's not that I'm Superman. Probably best you leave it in one piece and let me take it apart. Yeah. No, no, I'll do it. Uh, yeah. Bang! Yeah, run at the door from my side. Because it obviously opens from the inside out, it's easier to open than for him to try and bust it in. Yeah. So, as I bash through the door, so just as the zombies finally get through, bang! It's kind of like run again. So, this is now onto this next section called the school run, which is literally running from loads of zombies. Jules and Mike eventually run into a large door at the end of the corridor, locking the door behind them and find themselves locked in the headmaster's study. So these things are literally, what, about 100 metres away. We've begun to outrun them, but they're not by any means slow zombies. They're fairly rapid. You know, they're not in any state of decay as yet. Fresh. Mostly fresh. So some can kind of chip. So, but there's an awkwardness still to them. Yeah, they're not yeah, like, yeah. you know, yes. Linford Christmas. Yeah. I've seen that, and, and, it, yeah. and it makes everything fa- Everyone would be killed. Yeah. If zombies were, were, were really yeah. like that and could run, yeah. we're fucked. Yeah. You know why? Because you couldn't outrun a whole mob of them. You'd run yeah. into an alley, you'd run into a corner. There's no, no escape from that. Although it is scarier. Yeah. Yeah. But we, you see, because we've got other creatures that do run, we don't need them to run that fast. Yeah. But, Pretty chipping, anyway. We rely on the slowness of zombies in our world. Yeah, we rely on that for the tension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they come when you think they should come, then it won't work. The tension is, is key to these films. Where Can we read the next one? Yeah, so that Mike, that door won't hold them for long. That door won't hold them for long. We need to find a way out of here. I can't see the fence from here. It's too dark outside. I don't think you should shout that one. I mean, you I are think you're talking to me. Yeah, well, but yeah, but I think at that, that time, to tone it down a bit would work better, I think. I, I heard what you're saying. You can have a look at it, but I, I, I think if you try that, 
that don't want all them for long. And that, because you, uh, you, you were talking, you, you're locking the door. Mm -hmm. I don't want them for long. I was just saying to And the then you're turning to me, you're saying, you know, we need to find, we, we need to find a way out of here. I can't see the fence from here, it's too dark outside. And I said, well, if we're all to connect Mr. Robinson, old rock job we used to call this. My mates told me he used to have a pair of night goggles and he used to use them to spy on naked cheerleaders. People used to tell me he'd stay late behind after gym practice just to get a good look at some and I'm using the binoculars, so right. You know, but if pair come on out. That's, you, that's when you like that's the last thing on my mind. Like, on the head. back of the head kinda. Not too hard though, because that hurts. Bring them back to reality. With stupid talk. That's the last thing on my mind right now. Yeah. Like, well, well, nice well. Jewels on <laughs> Pull the binoculars out. Well, well, well. Slide out. Yeah, slide out. Guess the rumours are true. Jules find some night vision binoculars. Russian. Nice. But you got these babies when it's on that um, on exchange thingy. I wonder if there's any cheerleaders left. Like that. Now, we might not exactly play it like that, but it's something yeah, we can yeah. play around yeah. with. I might actually put, think, well, actually put that as on the yeah. But we, we need a way to get from that bit to the binoculars, so, you know, Mike's then saying, Jules. Jules, stop messing around. Go check to see if we don't get any other surprises. Visitors from zombies. Even, even that would be cool. Don't get any other surprises. That'd be cool. Because yeah. that sounds more like you. Oh, that's it. You found it set to the zombies. Like I don't know. Quiet. I think I can't see our way out here. Yeah. I think my, my big bag is even a shushing. Like, yeah. There's more abrupt and... Yeah, I'm just reading the thing. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Try, try and think of it sometimes in your terms as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you will get more time to look at this and when yeah. you get a script you can go through. It'll be better. I'm like, you're like, do the shushing one. No, louder, really aggressively. I think I'm actually on the way out, man. I think I'm actually on the way out. It's like he's going to sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. 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 You're really pissed off with me. I'm just joking too much. Yeah. It's still dark in here. Yeah. It's it's, it's, yeah, it's going to be dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll probably just see it. But you can see yeah, it. Yeah. It's like the peripherals are dark, but where we are is, is brighter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, for me, I'd probably just say shh. Right. Yeah. It's like, shh. I think I see a way out of here. Yeah. You know, there's some. Oh, you're like, quiet. I think I see a way out of here. Yeah. You, know, you are, again, scrutinizing. So you're saying it with a scrutinizing voice. Like, mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. You're analyzing. What do you mean? Come on. Oh, what do you mean? Mm, that's a bit too strong, isn't it? So you, like, start from quiet, anyway. Quiet. No, more, more aggressively. Quiet. I think I'm actually way out of here. What do you mean? Come on. Oh, this is very bam, bam, bam. Because we are mates. It's like bam, bam. We can talk like that, you know, quick, quick fire. In the lyrics, especially to get through the, all of this. As Mike prepares to leave the room via another exit into a different hallway. Yeah. Mike! I'm running off. Mike! Don't you think we need some protection? And you think I'm still thinking about this. Do you ever stop thinking about No, girls. not protection. You know, protection like, like a weapon or... Ah. It comes back with a baseball bat, a couple of cricket bats and all of that for you. So as he gets to the top of the stairs, Right, uh, see a lone zombie moving towards them. As he passes the stop, top step, Mike and Jules throw him back over again. Grinning wildly. Right, uh, because we think we, you know, that was it. That was easy. We start to see several hundred zombies moving towards him. So Jules and Mike are now just running tight. Uh, you can hit as many as you like, you ain't dealing with all of that. So we're running, and the only escape route mm -hmm. now is using the bat doors. The, ba the bats to smash the back door and scramble outside. This causes the alarm to ring, which actually goes off from peripherals all over. So it's kind of like a fire escape, we smash, bang, 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 you know, 
It's not about clean and nice job. It's just get that fucker open any fucking hour. Mm. You know, so because well, it's going to be like uh, shots of sugar glass yeah. are used for these things as well. But I have to be, you know, a bit gentler, but still, you know, right. yeah, pulling back yeah, yeah. on that just to, Yeah, that's the show aggression, but obviously you don't want things yeah, to go yeah. pop. Oh, that was easy. But not strong. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to gu guide your strength a bit. So it causes the alarm to ring. So now it's a scramble over the fence, yeah, into the, onto the top of one of the trucks parked yeah. outside. Yeah. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Alright, we'll just read this last bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike spots a driver and looks for the keys in his pocket. And yeah, so you're rummaging, the guy's dead. You know, you, you kind of gingerly, you don't really want to touch this guy, but you've got to get the keys. Mm. You know, so you might give him a kick or however you do it, you know, it's going to be yeah, your yeah. way of doing it. But it has to be like, you're not, you're not too sure. <laughs> As he tries to find the key, you're frustrated. Vamanos. <laughs> As you try to find the key, you're frustrated because you can't find it. Ah! No, you're really frustrated. You're like, ah! Oh, ah! Where is it? Help me find the keys, will you? You know, I've got to hand it to you. You want stupid son of a bitch. Stop fucking around and move! Ooh! Mm. Oh, Alright, so we get in, close the door, swarm of zombies just get in there, bam. You're struggling to put the gear, start it, put it into gear and all that. It's like you want to start putting gear and all at the same time. It's like, you're not really a good driver. Uh, I think it becomes a part from that. It's like, we fucking are out for a move! I'm yeah, trying! I'm yeah. yeah. trying! Get into the car. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> you're <about to>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have to put some energy into it though, you could have to yeah, You'll yeah, be sweating, yeah. this is worse than working out man. Not hard enough. Come on, move. So I we swap positions then. Mm. Alright. I I I know it's a choke. Pull the choke out. <clears throat> Start. Reverse. Bam 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 zombies. Bam 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 bam. Bouncing off the back. That is a reverse. Slams on the brake. Which causes zombies to fly everywhere. As they're driving, one of them's got on top. So we're inside the cabin, and just suddenly goes boop, pops out, stop, flies off, drive over and kill it. Yeah? So then we'll be on back to the three. We'll just do the first page. Are you guys cool with that? Yep. See what? Yeah. Uh, you got, I think it's ten o'clock now. Yeah. Are you cool with that? Sorry. Well, because it's not about me. How long will it be? It's not long, it's, it's quite fast dialogue. So, um, yeah, Mike and Jules begin. Yeah, Mike and Jules begin. Yeah, Mike and Jules begin. Jules is scanning through the radio channels. It's dead! Right. Uh, remember how we said it that time? It's dead. Exactly. Yeah. Do it again like that. It's dead. No, no, no. Just take, take the breath between it. The first time you did was great. It's dead. Yeah, close. The first one was the best one. It's dead. You know, there's a real... Yeah. <laughs> to the point about that. And you'll see it later on the tape anyway. Yeah. That's cool. So I would say... This is Captain fucking America here. Listen, when I want your opinion, ask for it. Until then, shut up. Take your non-driving ass to the back of the bus. If it weren't for me, your ass would be a zombie chow by now. And he's like, if it weren't for me, your ass... Well, you oh, oh, it. If it weren't for me, your ass would be zombie chow by now. You know, build it up, build it up, boom. Yeah. If it weren't for me, your ass would be... Yeah, yeah. Build it up. Yeah, I'm moving. Yeah. Try it again. 